as I started working with the energies, of course, these 20 wonderful souls started asking me questions. Well, where does this come from? How does it work? What's happening to my body? So we had more exploration to do. First of all, that tunnel of light that swishes and wishes like this. What is it? What is it? And where does it come from? And how do the spheres come through it? That's a good question, isn't it? And what we realized was happening to our bodies was the back of the chakras was opening up. And the front of the chakras was actually the tunnels of light that could pull away from the body and pop the spheres out. So of course, where do the spheres come from? They come in the back. They come in the back. Have you ever come across a system that says open the back of your chakras? Anybody? It's unheard of. It's unheard of because our backs are closed because we see forward. We fear what's behind us, what we can't see. We fear what's in our unconscious. We fear what is between the shoulder blades that we can't see. So our instinct is to keep the back of the chakras shut so nothing can get through and get us, creep up behind us and go, boo, boo, gotcha. Our natural instinct. So that biggest belief for healers who opens the heart chakra, works at balancing the chakras in the front and does the healing. And what happens to most healers, nurses, care workers? They burn out. Why? Because it comes from them. Their bodies can only get battered for so many years, channeling the energy, pushing the energy, doing the healing, doing the caring, doing the giving. They just get tired. So what if your back opened up? How cool is that? Your back opens up and the healing comes through you. Not from you. Through you. What would then happen to you as a healer? You wouldn't get tired. Because your body... It's just transmitting, receiving and transmitting. And while it's in you, it energizes you. So what we've noticed is people who practice silver spheres, they're very energized. They don't get tired. They're sharp. Their bodies are really functioning well. So can I show you what your chakras look like at the back? I need a guinea pig. Somebody who's not had the chakras opened, if you've done silver spheres, I can't. Victoria, can you stand here for me, darling, please? Okay. So I'm first going to have a look, like we do normally, look at the front of the chakras. I use dowsing rods. They have a sleeve, so the rods have freedom to move where they want to go. All right. So I'm just going to do the heart chakra, all right? Yeah. I'm going to measure Victoria's heart chakra energy. That's expected of the heart chakra to be that wide. That's pretty normal. Could you turn around and let me measure the back of your heart chakra, please? Thank you. Turn around. Shut down. Tight. That's what all your back chakras are like. Shut down tight. Can you pick a spray bottle for me, please? Just anyone. Anyone. Okay, I'm going to just use the sample bottle. Oh, the same kind of no, that's no, fine, the sample one's in front. Hold your hands out for me, please. Rub it and breathe it in. Okay, I just need to do that, turn around. I need to do that. So we're just opening the back of the heart.
I'm just going to measure and then I'll tell you to turn around, okay? You turn around. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What will happen to Victoria now, what we already know, is it's going to go back like that, but it will never close again now that I've opened it, using the essence and whatever the energy or frequency is that comes through my body. So you're, it will do that, but it won't close down again. It's open. Okay? Now the idea here is when the back of the heart is open, all right, you will be able to have a sphere come through, through your body, through your heart, and that will be able to go and do some self-healing on yourself, any animals, or any family members you have around you. All of this was revealed in stages, and those first 20 people were absolutely amazing because as they started giving feedback, we were able to start figuring out the sequence of events, what happened to their bodies, and what was beginning to happen to their consciousness because it affects the consciousness. It affects your mind, it affects your feeling body, and it affects your health, profoundly affects your health. Where it's come from is also from your future self's space and time. You created them. That's why that lady at the back, Sharon, was saying she felt she had to be here. Your spheres are calling you. You created a set of tools in the future to be transported back to this time and place to assist you in lifting not just your vibration by opening your chakras and activating the energy, but to lift and up, lift and ascend the entire planet. Did you know you could do that? So these spheres that your future self has put in a time capsule is waiting for you. Is waiting for you. You created them. Mm -hmm.